Welcome. It is my privilege to congratulate all of you on behalf of the Farmingdale College Council. Today, you are living in challenging times, very uncertain times, but there is one thing that is certain. Farmingdale State College has prepared you for all that you will encounter tomorrow. Whatever you do, you have received a quality education. Now, you already face the world. You're going to help solve the problems. You're going to help invent some new technologies. I hope that when you achieve great things, that you will continue to be as proud of Farmingdale State College as we will be of you. Thank you again and congratulations. On behalf of the Farmingdale State College community, welcome to our winter graduation event. This is certainly not the commencement ceremony any of us wanted, but it is one that I hope you will remember. I have never been prouder of a graduating class. Today, more than ever, this day is your day, and it remains a time for celebration. Individually and collectively, your achievements, your drive, your work ethic say all that we need to know about this class. You have persisted and succeeded during the most difficult time in the modern history of higher education. Your stories and experiences are nothing short of inspiring. So my brief remarks will draw largely from the words of our graduating students to tell the story of your class. I've done that by quoting from portions of the essays of our valedictorians, as well as drawing on the written comments of other graduating seniors who've reflected on their experience. These stories and yours are the best testimonials to the transformation experienced by so many of you. These students and many others had academic success while serving others or working countless hours to help support themselves or their families. Listen, please, to what these students say about one another and their professors. One arts and sciences student wrote, this school offered the most ideal learning environment for me. As a result, I was able to utilize the more intimate classroom settings and easily accessible professors to best develop my academic career. I was fortunate enough to be instructed by Professor Douglas, who would soon become one of my mentors, and with his guidance, I persevered. I developed a mentorship with Professor Mata, who would have a significant influence on my decision to pursue a law degree. I would speak with Dr. Cruz, who was always accessible and willing to speak with me about any personal matters. Being exposed to a diverse group of students provided insightful class discussions, emphasizing alternative perspectives. To be surrounded by such a tight-knit community allowed me to engage in more meaningful discourse with others. A business student wrote, the amazing faculty constantly challenged me to think about problems in different ways and analyze problems from multiple perspectives. On several occasions, I was assigned to defend positions on issues that I was against in order to hone my analytic skills. This forced me to go beyond my comfort zone but improve my insight into problems and how understanding multiple perspectives comes into play. In addition, I learned the value of negotiation and achieving a common objective. I also gained invaluable experience as to what it takes to be a leader. I've received acceptance letters from several master's degree programs, and I'm extremely grateful to the Farmingdale community for the role they played in helping me advance to the next step. A student graduating from the School of Engineering Technology wrote, Farmingdale has changed the trajectory of my life for the better. I've made great friends and learned some of the, from some of the most outstanding professors I will ever have. As of last week, I was admitted to pursue a master's of science in mechanical engineering. I would not have achieved this success without the assistance of Farmingdale and the letters of recommendation prof from Professor Song, Elgin, and Seiler. I really appreciate the support they have given me. This school has given me the knowledge and work ethic to follow my dreams. I had no idea where my life was heading when I started at Farmingdale. A health science graduate writes, it did not take long for me to identify the nursing program as the program of my dreams. This program appealed to me so much because of its rigorous coursework, intimate class sizes, high standards, and firm commitment to excellence. Since gaining admission 
<clears throat> I have upheld my GPA while also working as a patient care associate. I've been a frontline worker in my hospital's intensive care unit during the pandemic and a volunteer for our campus initiative to test students, faculty, and staff for COVID. Throughout my time, I've met many outstanding individuals and have learned, grown, and experienced more than I could ever have helped, hoped for. One senior wrote, the professors here are so incredibly helpful and talented. It's truly been a privilege to have received the education and guidance and support from them. I knew nothing about graphic design when I started, and now in my senior year, I cannot believe all that I've learned. The professors understand how competitive the industry is, and they really want to offer as much advice and feedback as they can to help us succeed. Another wrote, Farmingdale is an amazing school and is continuously growing. I'm thankful for the opportunities that were offered to me. I plan to come back after I finish a doctorate to teach a nursing course at this school. And among 45 students who were recently honored with SUNY's ELP Award for Student Excellence, the one who was selected to speak on behalf of those students is graduating today from Farmingdale. That person came here receiving a 2016 Beat the Odds Scholarship, and he recently said to me, it was a great adventure to go to FSC. You may have noticed that I have mentioned no student by name. That's because these are not uncommon stories. In fact, what this class has in common is an uncommon diligence and perseverance. Each and every student graduating today is a student who completed their last semesters under circumstances that no one could have imagined a year ago. Even more impressive is that 70% of you worked for pay while you pursued your degree. Let me put that in context. You work in far greater numbers than students at comparable colleges, and you work nearly twice the number of hours of students at those institutions. Furthermore, an FSC senior is likely to spend twice as much time caring for a dependent child or parent than students at other similar colleges. Few things are more ultimately satisfying than a triumph over adversity or completing a particularly difficult challenge. Your commitment to learning and working and serving others is a daily occurrence. Keep in mind that many of you today are that much needed bright light at what might otherwise be a dark time for friends or family. If we have learned anything, it is how strong and resilient you are. I will end where I began. This is not the commencement any of us envisioned, and yet it may be a singularly memorable graduation because of what you've attained under these terrible circumstances. I hope that each of you takes the time to fully appreciate what you've achieved by finding a safe and enjoyable way to share your pride with family and friends who've helped you make it along the way. I wish you every success in the years ahead. We as a faculty and staff have never been prouder of a graduating class. The gloom of 2020 will give way to brighter days. It will get better. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of the Farmingdale State College graduates who worked tirelessly, remotely, and through unimaginable circumstances to get to this point right now, winter commencement. Let me be the first to welcome you to the alumni community of more than 100,000 who came before you. Although this year has been unlike any other, my sentiments remain the same. I urge you to stay connected to your alma mater, keep in touch with your classmates, and share with us your good news and accomplishments. Give back when you are able to, and be proud of your achievement as a Farmingdale graduate. I encourage you to check our website frequently and follow us on social media so you know when we are hosting events, when we are looking for volunteers to assist our current students, and stay informed with what is happening at the college. As you continue on your journey beyond Farmingdale, on behalf of the entire FSC Alumni Association, I wish you much success, health, and happiness. Congratulations once again on your graduation from Farmingdale State College. Okay, greetings, I am Dr. Charles Adair, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences, and I want to congratulate all of you on the successful completion of your academic programs in this school. Your perseverance and determination to work through the very difficult conditions that we've all been facing since the start of this year are a sign of your resilience. The fact that you have succeeded in spite of the current conditions shows that you and your classmates are really Farmingdale strong, and this strength will serve you well as you move forward in your careers. 
Many of you have engaged in undergraduate research with our faculty, participated in internships, or have contributed to the outside community through volunteer and other service opportunities. I'm very proud to represent you and to advocate for you in my role as Dean because of the, all of the accomplishments that you have achieved and as students of the School of Arts and Sciences. I want to briefly recognize our graduates in each of the academic programs in Arts and Sciences. The Liberal Arts and Sciences Associate and Sci Arts program has given its 70 graduates an excellent preparation for continued studies and you will be sought after by many bachelor's degree programs both on campus and at other colleges. In the area of criminal justice we have both an Associate of Science and Law Enforcement with five graduates and a Bachelor of Science in Law Enforcement Technology with 70 graduates. Graduates of the associate degree program are well prepared to transfer into bachelor's degree programs or they may go directly into police academies to prepare for a career in law enforcement. Graduates of the bachelor's degree program are highly qualified for positions with state and federal law enforcement agencies or for admission to law school or other professional programs. The Science, Technology, and Society program is the largest in the School of Arts and Sciences and has nearly 100 graduates this fall. Your curriculum has prepared you to work in a wide range of organizations and industries where you can apply methods of scientific thinking to solve real-world problems faced by individuals, organizations, industries, and societies. The 14 of you graduating in applied psychology have had the opportunity to participate in the latest methods of research in this field under the guidance of outstanding faculty and you are well prepared for job opportunities in business and human resource management or for graduate programs in your field. There are five of you graduating from applied mathematics and I admire your ability to master this subject since you will find excellent opportunities in areas like telecommunications, finance, actuarial science, and operations research. 21 of you are graduating from the professional communications program. The skills that you have developed in this curriculum will lead to successful careers, whether you work in mass media, social media, marketing and public relations, or in other fields that rely on effective communication. There are nearly 30 of, you, 30 of you graduating in bioscience after completing challenging courses like genetics, cell biology, and molecular biology. You are prepared for careers in the pharmaceutical industry, biotechnology, and genetic engineering, and you're also strong candidates for graduate and professional programs. One of our newest programs is Geographic Information Systems and it has its first graduate this month. This curriculum prepares its graduates to use the massive amounts of data generated by satellites and drones to work on urban and regional design, marketing, transportation, epidemiology, or crime analysis. Finally, 10 of you will be earning your certificate in the Sciences for Health Professions, having completed a demanding course of study that will make you eligible to apply to professional programs such as medicine, dentistry, veterinary science, or physician assistant. Again, congratulations to all of you for reaching this goal after years of hard work, and especially for overcoming even greater obstacles than most college students would ever expect to face. I wish you great success and health as you leave us, and please remember to stay in touch. The Hilda Ward Valedictorian Medal is presented each year to a graduate who excels in scholarship. This medal is awarded in memory of Hilda Ward, who was a valued benefactor of the college and an early member of the College Council. I'm proud to announce that the 2020 Winter Valedictorian for the School of Arts and Sciences will graduate with a degree in Science, Technology, and Society. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the 2020 Winter Valedictorian, 
Nicholas Garzilli. Good evening, administrators, staff members, family, friends, and my fellow Farmingdale State College graduates of 2020. It is with great honor and humility to be your valedictorian. I would like to thank the commencement committee for considering me for this prestigious honor. I also would like to take a moment to thank my parents, the rest of my family, my friends, as well as the tight-knit community of professors and staff members who have made my time here at Farmingdale State College so memorable. These last few years have proven to be some of the most challenging of our academic careers. However, we still persevered. As the setting of this commencement is not ideal, it is important we take a moment to consider how despite these shortcomings, we still insisted on graduating. Our experience as college students has been like any other class in recent memory. I'm so honored to represent my fellow graduating class and acknowledge the achievements that we have collectively made despite these trying times. There have probably been days where you did not have the motivation to go to your online class. There have probably been moments where you felt dispirited from taking as much time as you usually would in your studies. Not being able to see familiar faces every day, such as those of your supportive professors and fellow students. Sometimes just seeing a particular professor or student, a single human interaction could make your day. I too shared this troubling longing for normalcy. As your valedictorian, I would like to remind everyone that despite these unprecedented times, we still managed to achieve the honor of graduating from university. My hope is that in the future, if you ever find yourself stirring with similar feelings of discouragement, you use these moments as a framework or a reminder that if you could overcome this, you could overcome, or better yet, accomplish anything. Congratulations to the winter class of 2020. Good evening and congratulations to the class of 2020. I am Dr. Laura Joseph, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Farmingdale State College. It has most certainly been an unprecedented year and through it all, you persevered. You displayed courage, conviction, and determination. The college administration and faculty are so very proud of your accomplishments. Farmingdale's focus on applied learning has provided you with a strong foundation on which to grow. Many of you took advantage of internship opportunities, while others engaged in faculty-led research experiences. The applied learning component of your education sets you apart from other graduates and provides you with the competencies you will need to continue your educational pursuits or enter the workforce. Regardless of what your next steps in life may be, know that you have what it takes to be successful. Your time at Farmingdale has prepared you well. Again, my heartfelt congratulations on a job well done. It is now my distinct honor and privilege to present the diploma candidates to President Nader, who will confer their degrees. President Nader, subject to verification, these candidates for graduation have been recommended by the faculty as having completed requirements for the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Technology and Master of Science. Dr. Nader will now confer your degrees as graduates of Farmingdale State College. Congratulations. On behalf of the College Council and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and by State University Chancellor, the Honorable Jim Malatris, I confer upon the successful candidates the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate of Science, and Bachelor of Science. Congratulations.